Hi everyone, so let's create this crazy deal. First of all, as you can see, you know, this burger icon is coming and jumping on this play. Okay, and then this text is coming out. So to make this, first of all, we need a burger icon. So I just bring that into my timeline. Okay, you can get this on Google Images for free. Just go there and search for burger icon, you know, emoji, and then you can get it. And then I'll bring my plate over here now let's do the animation so i'll you know keep it here at the start hit for p for position keyframe go ahead okay somewhere around here again hit position keyframe go to the start also hit shift s and shift r for opening scale and rotation keyframes then click on both of them go ahead then on the second keyframe bring it over here okay in the starting keyframe we can make it scale to something less and you can rotate it okay and here i can rotate it back a bit and increase the size back to 100 so that this f9 and then drag this to the left now i'll create new null object okay and parent link this burger to this null and now i'll rename this null to burger control okay and then after it reaches here, first I'll open this kit U to see the keyframes. So when it reaches over here, I'll just, you know, press P for position keyframe. Go ahead and drag it down like this. Shift R for rotation and then go ahead and make it straight. Okay, this is okay. Now I'll hit P for, you know, position on this plate and then go ahead some frames bring it down go ahead again bring it up okay now copy these two keyframes by getting ctrl c go ahead paste it now we can go ahead and paste it okay so we get this animation of when this falls this plate shakes but now we want to make them bouncy so now what we have to do is i'll go to my file head on to my scripts and select pounds okay cr so this you know thing this is free this is not a paid plugin so you can just go to the net and search for pounds cr plugin download so you get this download this plugin and then what you can do is simply just head on to file okay and then scripts install script file select this okay and then search for your file okay and after searching for your file click it by editing this and select then you will get this in your tile line okay so like that you will be able to import your bounce here into this now what we'll do is first of all hit u on this select these two okay and then hit selected and bounce back and it bounce it now you can see this burger is bounce it if you bring them close the animation will be that much heavier okay if you bring them far it will be slow okay so we want to bring the closers so it will be something like this okay when it falls over here you have to just you know i'll bring in my message box which i also got from google images i'll bring it over here Okay, and then first I'll mask out this white one only because we need only this white to mask select this rectangle to when now I'll put it behind the burger like this. Okay, now when this starts to fall and when it's when it hits this plate at the point of it impact I will hit this okay uh, this message box okay. Now while holding Y, I will drag this anchor point and put it here at the tip of this. Okay. So just around here, I will open this. Okay. Hit S for scale and Shift R for rotation. Keyframe both of these. Go ahead. Okay. And then again, keyframe the scale. Okay. And 
go to the first keyframe and make the scale to zero okay so it will open up like this and here in the middle you have to just rotate it to be right three degrees go ahead over here and rotate it negative three degrees okay and then just copy these two keyframes and paste again now again copy and paste again so you get this animation okay but we want this animation to be smoother so just select okay select these and then head on to overshoot plus okay make this selected and bounce it okay let's bring this closer okay so we have got the starting animation okay but now we want some text inside this so i'll right click new text okay and then i'll simply you know track mark this to the message box enable this eye icon and also i will parent link this to the message box okay so it moves along with the bounce animation so we have bought our first c okay as you can see it's looking good and now i'll just head on to effects and presets and you know as the burger was glowing i can bring my glow and put it on this okay okay so you know he i think the creator over here okay has used deep glow but as it is a uh, you know third party plugin we can use normal glow which is inbuilt i also have deep glow but i had used you know normal glow so you can access it easily okay so you know this animation is done now i'll hit new okay then bring another null object rename it to scene one mover okay the pause this will move our scene one so i have given it this name now what we need to do is select this message box and plate and parent link them to c1 mover now with new solid keep it white okay and move it over here and print this below and now parent link this to c1 mover also now open this click on position keyframe go ahead and drag this to the left side right? like this okay so like these and at my now select both of these and drag them close up so you know this is our animation this comes up so it's easy to make again we have to use the same properties which we just did so first i'll bring in my swiggy icon okay go here and search for drop shadow and bring it onto this increase the opacity distance and softness now we need to move this uh, when it is somewhere over here i'll bend this okay first i'll make it smaller yeah hit on position and shift r for rotation keyframes okay turn down like this go ahead and put them over here i will make the rotation back to zero of that go come on here like this now just select this to reveal their path okay and what i'll do is click this pen tool and click here and drag it okay like this because we want this curve animation okay it should come like this as you can see over here in the example video just coming and then going down okay so we have to call this part okay now simply select these keep it selected overshoot and select front set okay now you can see we got that animation but it's slow so bring them closer and as you can see the overshoot is too much so we'll just you know reduce the amplitude okay okay so you know after doing this animation okay and when this drops i want another effect so i these light sweep these all effects are inbuilt so don't worry and put it on this okay so i just put down my swiggy logo keep it over here okay 
first i want to change this my center locate the angle like this and want to move it like this so i just can increase my x thickness all right this is good so when this drops away somewhere over here i'll hit my center go ahead and again drag this to the end hit u select this f9 that this to the left you can bind the text here also so i just get a new so when this drops at that time you can do the animation so i'll select this and use one of my user presets okay now for the next scene okay this will go here as you can see oh wait there's something behind so we have to do the behind part also so that's nothing just simply you know hit control d to copy the swiggy logo and next rename it to e logo dig okay and then simply add to it scale and make it bigger something like this make it behind this search for gods and blur again book it on this and then increase the blurriness t and decrease the opacity okay and then select rounded the tangle tool or a tangle tool and make it something like this mask it go here make it subtract and then increase the padding okay hit scale animation or scale keyframe go ahead i mean hit scale keyframe go to the first keyframe and make this zero okay now select this make it scale overshoot and bounce it then this closer then it will go to the left here and shrink in size so simply i'll just select this first hit t okay when this opens up opacity keyframe go ahead and make this first zero okay now i'll select my cg text the d again go to here and make this zero so this goat will fade out and then select my swiggy logo hit p and shift s click on position and scale keyframe go ahead and then in this second keyframe we need to move it over here select this and again you know click on selected and bounce it so it will go up okay but we need to make this faster so i'll just bring them closer like this okay and when it reaches over here there is an explosion type of thing okay so let's make that select this ellipse tool the fill should be orange okay shift and make a circle like this control alt form to bring the anchor part to the center and place it over here below this swiggy logo okay and then first we'll rename this to explosion okay and then what we are going to do is bring boyjen blur on it increase the you know blurriness okay and then hit t to bring down the opacity somewhere here and then when this lands okay just over here hit s for scale go on the head again with s go to the first keyframe and make it zero also hit shift t to bring in proper opacity properties and go ahead and make it zero snip both of them f9 and drag them to the left 
so you will get this explosion animation but it needs to last so i'll just drag this forward opacity okay okay the time should be good as when reaches here at that time only okay so when this explodes then our next animation will come which is this part so this animation is same okay the same thing which you have been doing first the main thing is you have to only create the design so i'll just create not the exact design but something similar to this so you get to know how we are doing this okay how you have to create this design so first of all what i'll be doing is you know bringing in a rounded ellipse tool and making something like this okay let's change it to something off white right? select crop shadow okay and put it on this increase the drop shadow and this and in yeah so you'll get this okay and now i'll bring in this to main outline okay and put it behind our logo okay so again just you know make this you know select this and make another here again add you know a drop shadow to it just copy it from here and put it over here and then bring one person image inside like this as you can see a burger here write some text again make the same thing okay by using rubber rectangle bring an image okay like this you have to design so you know i will fast forward this section and complete my design so the only thing which is relevant from here is you know this burger because this part goes to the next scene okay so let's make the, uh, so as i have you know take an expression and you know made something like this okay so what we will be doing is first as you can see i have you know created this and there is a burger box okay first i will link it to our main outline okay then i will select my person box which is this box and i will link this to our main outline okay and then now i'll select my pizza person ice cream okay and link this to our person box means which is inside this i will link to this and this box i will link to the main box okay same with this link this burger and this text to this box and this box will be linked to the main outline so let's do that again so burger box is already linked now let's select these two link it to our burger box okay and it's done now we have to only do the animation which we did now okay using the keyframes and you know position just position and scale anything you like okay and then hit bounce it so after doing that okay your whole animation will look something like this okay as you can see here when you come here it will look something like this okay see all are bouncing so simply what you have done is use position so by using position this comes up okay and this take bounce it over here while selecting the keyframes and then it will bounce okay nothing else is there okay so this will be it for our part 1 of the animation if you want to see a second part of this animation where i'll be continuing the rest of this okay then make sure to hit that like button and if i see 500 likes i'll be continuing to make a part 2 so see you in the next video